In May 1940, German troops crossed the Belgian border and began their movement towards France. The Allies planned to stop Nazis in the Gembleu area, but in order to gain some time to strengthen their positions, the first French army was sent to the city of Anu to delay the Germans for several days. The tank units of both armies moved faster than other units, and as a result, on May 12, 1940, they met. So on May 12, the largest tank battle at that time took place near the city of Anu. The next day, May 13, infantry approached both armies and the battle continued. Unsere Infanterie ist endlich eingetroffen. Wir setzen den Angriff fort. Zeig mir, was ihr drauf habt und nehmt diese Stadt ein. Enfoncez la porte et positionnez les vitres à étage. Wir greifen weiter an. Ihr bleibt aber hier in der Stellung. Sobald die Jungs von der Nachbarkompanie kommen, beißt er sie hier ins Gelände ein. Habt ihr mich verstanden? Weiter angreifen, das ist doch Wahnsinn. Haltet die Schnauzen und überlasst den Fern das Denken, ja? Die haben einen größeren Kopf. Boah, das Pony. <lacht> Wir brauchen Deckungsfeuer. Jetzt kommt der Panzer. Bewegt euch! Heraus! Bleibt hinter dem Panzer!
The result of the battle can be considered both a French victory and a Wehrmacht success. The French completed their task and were able to stop the German advance. However, as planned, after the battle they retreated to the city of Gemblou and left the battlefield. And if during the fight both sides lost about 200 tanks, then after the French retreat the Germans gained access to their damaged tanks and repaired many of them. As a result, their losses amounted to only 50 tanks destroyed. In general, the battle showed the ability of French units to resist Wehrmacht divisions on equal terms. But it also revealed the weaknesses of the French army, German tactics proved superior, by using radio to coordinate maneuvers, the Germans outwitted the French who were limited to rigid, static positioning as in the First World War. The French tanks could not communicate with such fluidity or rapidity. The French missed tactical and operational opportunities and were poorly coordinated. The German tanks also had more crew members, so the commander could concentrate on command tasks but French commanders had to act as gunner and assistant gunner.